Natalie Cole, full name is Natalie Maria Cole, born February 6, 1950, Los Angeles, California, United States. She is an American singer who has forged a successful career performing pop-based music, a rhythm, and blues and judge. In the early 1980s, Cole's career stalled due to drug problems and a serious throat illness. Later in the decade, she began singing more jazz inspired pop music. The cause of Natalie Cole's passing was disclosed by her family on Thursday. According to the artist's relatives, idiopathic pulmonary arterial hypertension caused heart failure and caused the finger to pass away. The family of Co claimed in a statement to the AP that following her kidney transplant in 2009, Co was diagnosed with pulmonary arterial hypertension, a rare lung condition that results in breathlessness, faintness, and even chest discomfort. The precise etiology of Co's condition is unknown because it was idiopathic. Natalie Co left her own indelible imprint. Co responded well to pulmonary arterial hypertension, specific agents over many years, during which she gave numerous concerts all over the world. She ultimately passed away from intractable right heart failure, an unfortunate outcome that frequently happens in this progressive disorder. The statement read, Co, who was 65, passed away last week. She released Platinum albums including 1977's Unpredictable and 1991's Unforgettable with Love, becoming a celebrity in her own right. She is the daughter of Nat King Cole. However, the singer struggled with hepatitis C later in life and early drug misuse issues. In 2009, Cole underwent a kidney transplant. Natalie battled bravely and bravely, passing away with strength, honor, and the same dignity with which she had lived. Our loving mother and sister are deeply mourned and will live on forever in our hearts, read the statement made last week by her sisters Tim Olin and Casey Coe and son Robert Chancy. She became a successful R&B singer in the middle of 1970s thanks to the singles this will be in several 1975 in our love with her performance of bruce springs teens pink Cadillac on the 1987 album everlasting she made a comeback as a pop vocalist her biggest hit in the 1990s unforgettable with love which sold over 7 million copies and earned her seven grammy awards was the consequence of her singing her father's conventional pop songs Over 30 million records were sold by her globally. Co has three marriages. On July 31, 1976, she wed Marvin Yancey, a producer, composer, and former member of the R&B group The Independents from the 1970s. She has a son named Robert Adam Robby Yancey, a musician who toured with her from October 13, 1977 to August 14, 2007. She was produced by Marvin, a Baptist pastor with ordination, who assisted in reintroducing her to the religion. He had an impact on Co because he went from being a lapsed Episcopalian to a devoted Baptist. Co and Yancey divorced in 1980. Yancey passed away at the age of 34 after a fraud attack in 1985. Co wed Andra Fisher, a record producer and former member of the band Rufus, in 1989. The couple separated in 1995. Co wed Bishop Kenneth Dubry in 2001. Their divorce was finalized in 2004. Robbie's death from a heart attack in 2017 at the age of 39. Co actively promoted Sonia Nasri Co and the Afghan World Foundation. Co's autobiography, Angel on My Shoulder, which was published in 2000, detailed her struggle with narcotics throughout most of her life, including heroin and cracked cocaine. 
In order to support her drug habit, Ko once worked as a prostitute's tool. While a student at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, according to Ko, she started using drugs recreationally. In 1975, she was detained for heroin possession in Toronto, Canada. Ko's life spun out of control at this time. During one instance, she refused to escape a burning building, and during another, her small son Robert nearly drowned while she was on drug binge in the family pool. Following the release of her album I'm Ready on the e label in 1982, Ko checked herself into a Connecticut recovery center and stayed there for six months. Theresa Randall portrayed Natalie Coe in the Mate 4 TV film Living for Love, the Natalie Coe story, which was released at the same time as her book. What do you think of Natalie Coe's death? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to stay up to date with the latest celebrities news. Thank you and see you again.